Okay, so I must warn you that after watching this video, you probably won't trust safes like you used to, and you definitely won't trust hotel safes. In this example, I've got a hotel safe. This is a Rutner, which I'm probably not pronouncing correctly safe. It's a premium hotel security safe. We're told that it's safe for hotels, homes. You can store documents, jewelry. It provides valuable security. It's burglary proof. It's fireproof. It's an electronic safe. So this is a safe that you may find in a hotel. Now, it's not just this safe that has this problem. Many safes have this problem, which I'm going to demonstrate right now. Let's see how long it takes me to open this safe. So we're supposed to store our valuables in a safe like this when we're traveling and staying in a hotel, as an example. So here I've got some money. I've got some dollars. I've got some euros. I've got some rands. I've got some kroners. So let's put that in the safe. I've already got my wallet in the safe. I'll put my passports in the safe. So I've got two passports of mine here. So let's put that in the safe. Hopefully this will secure my stuff when I'm traveling. Now I typically would put in a better password than this, but let's assume I've put in a password of one, two, three, four. That will open the safe. Now you could use an angle grind or something else to try and open a safe like this, but that's a lot of work, it's very messy. There are much easier methods than trying to break open a safe using brute force. Now I've got a Huck lock pick tool set here. You can buy a tool set like this from Amazon. Prices vary, but as an example in the UK, I can get this for 26 pounds. You can get it cheaper elsewhere, but I purchased this from Amazon. So Huck tool set. Now I'll reset this tool. All I need to do is press this down, press it on a surface as an example, and make sure that all the pins are aligned. And on most safes, you would open this and that have a place to put in a key. On this one, it's a bit different. All I need to do is take that off and notice there's a place to put in a key. So we have all this fancy security. But let's see how long this takes me. I'll put this in. Okay, so it's in now. Let's see how long it takes to open the safe. That took me like two seconds. And there you go. I could take some of the cash and then just close the safe. So let's lock it again. When you come back, you put your code in, safe opens. You don't realize that I've taken some of your money. It's as simple as that to open one of these safes. So I'll lock the safe again. Okay, so it's locked. Let's do that again. So I'll reset this tool. Once again, press this right down. Could do it like this, but I'm doing this on a hard surface to make sure that all the pins are aligned. Literally, all I'm gonna do is take this and put it in. It takes me longer to get the key in. Notice it's in, and now I'm gonna try and turn it. There you go. Simple as that, because what this key does is it replicates the master key or the built-in key that comes with the safe. This is really a joke. I mean, why bother having all the security where you put in passwords when you can simply open it with a tool like this? And again, this is just an example of one type of hotel safe. There are many others that can be opened with a tool like this very, very easily. It's really a joke. Now, another reason I got this safe is if you brave, and I wouldn't say I'm brave, perhaps a bit foolish, I can use a card like this to lock the safe. So there you go. I've simply used a Tesco club card, but you could use your credit card if you're very brave. Tesco is a shop in the UK, and this is sort of a rewards card. So I've locked the safe, but once again, I could simply open it with a key. Or if I got close enough to you, I could use a tool like this to copy your RFID card. So this is using RFID, but I could simply scan the RFID here and I've been able to get the card number. Okay, she speaks quite loudly, but let's do that again. Hopefully you can see that. So I'll scan it again. And then I could simply write it. So, so it's as simple as that to create an RFID clone of this card. So this fob is a clone of that. And notice, there you go. I've been able to open the safe. Don't know about you, but this is probably more work than simply using a key like this. 
Safe is locked. Once again, I'll just reset this to prove the point. So reset that. Just gotta make sure I put it in right. And then there you go. Opened, locked. Be careful about security. Don't trust what people tell you. You may have believed that hotel safes are safe, <laughs> but this is not safe. This is a joke, really. With a simple tool like this, I can open up a safe and take out your valuables. Now, there's another method to opening safes like this, and that's entering the default master code. On this safe, the master code is a whole bunch of eights. And notice the safe opens up. Now, the code used will vary depending on the safe that you encounter. So you could try a whole bunch of zeros as an example. That doesn't work here. You could try a whole bunch of nines. That doesn't work. But once again, putting in a whole bunch of eights opens the safe. Not very secure. Personally, I don't think I'll trust a hotel safe for my valuables. Um, I'd rather store my money somewhere else, take it with me or do something else. It's probably safer just putting it in my bag and locking my travel bag than putting it into a safe like this if it's so easy to open. There are lots of examples like this on YouTube where people open up safes very easily by simply hitting them as an example. So if you tap some safes, they'll simply open up. But a key like this makes it dead easy. It's honestly a joke, really.